What's up, gang? Gang, what it do, book? I hope all is well with you guys, and I hope y'all having a beautiful day so far. I hope y'all can see kind of pretty good. If not, I'm gonna try to change the light because I know one of my reading I couldn't see none. I think it was on my uh, the Ghost Terror channel, right? So, Taurus is. I feel like a lot of y'all could be ignoring what God is showing you. It's like y'all thinking giving somebody the cold shoulder is doing what God asks you to do. And I feel like God calling you to permanently leave somebody behind. It's like you might be putting them on, putting them in a doghouse or putting them on punishment and spirit you like, that ain't what I asked you to do, Taurus. That ain't what I asked you to do, boo. You see what I'm saying? But I feel like some of y'all might be, you know, overlooking something that spirit telling you. So be careful too, cause this might come back and bite you, bite you in the tail. Cause spirit asking you to let go of somebody that's too full of themselves. They very self centered. They only care about themselves. They don't care about nobody else but themselves. Yeah. Somebody who be real selfish. Okay. I feel like somebody who you always got to match energies with, or like you know to match. I feel like this somebody who put you down a rabbit hole. I ain't gonna lie. For some of y'all, they keep you behind on something. Something in your spiritual journey. Okay. So let me see what I show. Show y'all what I channel. Okay. Read y'all what I channel. Okay. Anyway, go. Okay. Hold on. I'm trying to find y'all. I must close it out. <clears throat> but I feel like spirit calling you to move away from somebody. And it's like. This might be somebody who you might be steady seeing red flags from. I feel like you're getting all the signs. Why to leave this fool behind? And I feel like you try to ignore him. Some of y'all be playing blind. Y'all be playing like Stevie Wonder to the bullshit. You see what I'm saying? Okay, so look, Tori. I don't take real name. Even do not friend, okay? So the, 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 the topic is what's going on in your energy currently, right? And it said, Tori, you could be ignoring someone. Who is telling you lies? I'm seeing somebody blowing your phone or something. I'll also be calling y'all private. Or just somebody could be blowing you up. Some of y'all might be giving somebody the salad treatment. It's just like, you know, really, you know, feeding your ego. Somebody feeding your ego this week or something like that, y'all. Okay, look, it says, I don't take resonate. It says, state is trying to sell you dreams and um or trying to sell you some kind of bullshit. You could be giving them the cold shoulder due to them not showing up. Like they said they would and just uh, just catching them in their lie about a current situation. Someone could lie about or thinking they a player. I mean, they play a ways getting bad. Somebody could be feeling like they play a ways getting bad. I feel like some of y'all could be dealing with a real player. Some of them might be older. It also might be somebody a little younger than you. For some of y'all, it might be somebody older. Like, you might be 20-something, they might be 30-something, they might be 30-something, you might be 40-something. Take the roads, it resonate. Like, somebody feel like they can get over, get one over you, on you. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I'm hearing two can play their game. Some of, uh, this one could be very highly sexual, too. Okay, it's like, if you don't get them what they want, they go get it somewhere else. Type of shit. Yeah, I'm hearing two can play their game. Some of you could be trying to, uh, trying to cut out ties with someone. But Tori Spirit saying, it's time to cut the cords. Or do a court cut on someone, at, or um, do a court cut on somebody, or pray them at your life. Okay, it's something about a mean soul tie. Okay, y'all, or a deep soul tie. I mean, something could be deep rooted too, y'all. Like it says, spirit saying you are, uh, spirit saying you could be giving somebody excuse, you could be giving yourself excuses to keep someone um, that you emotionally tied to around, even if uh, even if they are not showing up like they need to. Or uh, or you want them to, okay? Some some of y'all might ain't emotionally being fulfilled by somebody. Is it or someone could be just uh, being a negative energy around you, and you could be um, waiting on the right time to cut someone off or move away from someone who giving you all type of red flags. Spirit saying it's time to know your worth and set boundaries with someone. Someone could take you as a joke. Spirit saying um, it's time for you to uh, fully close the door on someone. Yeah, somebody be taking you as a joke, Tori. It's like they don't take you serious. Or they don't take like your rejection or your cut off serious. This could be somebody who got a lot of games. Uh, and they can sell they can play a lot of games. And this could be someone who got a lot of options. Yeah. I feel like this somebody who like to keep you in like la la land type shit. 
like keep you keep selling you a dream. Like they play a lot of games. They, I feel like they give a lot of people illusions or make people feel like they're their girlfriend or boyfriend, and it really be something else. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, this is somebody who real shysty. It's like they always ten steps ahead of everybody. Even this a woman, y'all. Somebody play a lot of games. I feel like this could be um putting you in your mind and your head. And it's like now you trying to put somebody in their mind and their head. Somebody might be a little irritated. I mean, even if y'all giving someone a cold shoulder, y'all might be sending y'all feelings. It's something about your feelings. Some of y'all might be going through something, some type of betrayal. Or you could be feeling betrayed by somebody. Some of y'all might not want to cut somebody off. This might be hurting you more than what it is. Some of y'all might be bending or just releasing some emotional um, baggage that you got for someone. Some of y'all might not tell nobody how you truly feel. Like y'all trying to sit on some type of emotion. These emotions could be eating you up, friend. These emotions might be eating you up, boo. Yeah. Look, you said I don't want this anymore. I feel like this is you, Taurus. You might be tired of of the the games. Did somebody keep on selling? Yeah. Some of y'all might be watching tarot to keep um to find out some information, or some of y'all might be finding out information while they're doing tarot. Somebody might be undercover gay, y'all. They ain't gonna be for everybody. Y'all gonna see why somebody got commitment issues it's because they gay. Yeah, somebody run them. And, and if, if they LGBT, then they, you know you already know this. But I feel like this is somebody who might deal with women and men. Somebody might be bisexual. This is somebody y'all might hate that you got emotions for. Yeah, I feel like this is somebody who play a lot of mind games. Yeah, somebody who you could be having emotion, you could be on an emotional roller coaster for. Yeah, feeling bad for you. It's like, yeah, it's like you could be in regret or you could be sad, even if you ignore somebody. It's like you making somebody feel like they got the power, but it's really like you only hurting yourself. You trying to get some get back or making somebody come also hearing what some of y'all might be dealing with Capricorn. Because I'm hearing it outside this song and the science that I heard in Capricorn read, that get back is a motherfucker. You're like making somebody suffer. And it's like you making yourself suffer more than anything. It's like you trying to make somebody else suffer and you the one end up suffering. It's like you perfect who you are. Like somebody, like somebody pull on your flaws a lot. It's like they make you feel bad about yourself. It's not gonna be for every tourist. Yeah, it's like I spy on your social medias every day, and it's like I never feel the same after you. I feel like this is y'all. Some of y'all might be tired of somebody like games, but it's like it's time for if you feeling like somebody like really did a plan with you, and you feeling like destroyed or uh. Feeling weak. I feel like some of y'all might be really deal experiencing the heartbreak. Some of y'all like to run from heartbreaks or run from your emotions. It's like spirit forcing you to feel something. It's like being re be real with yourself, and it's gonna force some type of healing for you. Like, don't play the blind game. It's time for you to take control of what's going on. It's time for you to really face the man in the mirror. I'm starting with the man in the mirror. You might be heartbroken over somebody. I'm asking him to change his ways. It's time for you to uh, be honest with yourself. Yeah, because happiness starts within, baby. Yeah, listen, happiness within. Like, Spirit wants you to focus on the happiness with inside of yourself. Yeah, stop running from things that make you happy. Some of y'all might run from breakup because you like you might crave intimacy. Or some of y'all may be a little desperate for love. You might be a little desperate for love, boo. And it's like you always searching for love in the wrong places. And y'all, some of y'all it might be because of a parent or why you search for love outside of yourself or you didn't get it from like family or for like it's like, yeah. Some of y'all might be even searching from your kids. Be careful because you don't want your kids to be like, you know, feeling smothered. Well, they ain't gonna be live they like because I'm getting like a clingy parent for some of y'all. It's like they your, your kids can't live their life or your child can't live their life. Some of them might be trying to go out to college. But some of y'all, it's like you trying to live your like. It's like it's time for you to branch off. It's like I'm getting like a real codependent energy. Look, it's successful people fail to uh, fail to just uh, fail to just never let uh, they just never let they stop them from um, keep trying, y'all. Like yeah, like some of y'all might be giving up on yourself, and spirit could be trying to make you like bring uh, bring that jump back. And I need you to start back watering this plant. And I'm talking about yourself. Because you all loved it. You watered everybody but you. 
This is why things don't work out. Yeah. Spirit wants you, spirit wants you to focus on you now. Some of y'all might be uh, being pushed to be celibate. Some of y'all might be head over heels in connections. It's like some of y'all might jump head over heels first in connections. It's like you try to control your heart. And it's like you you also can be like, I ain't trying to trigger nobody. It's like you can be kind of naive in relationships. But it's also then it's like you try to guard your heart. It's like, it's giving kind of confused. It's like spirit, like what do you want? It's time, yeah, it's time for you to clear. If you know if you getting pushed and not have sex, or you feel like somebody rejecting you for sex and stuff like that, some of y'all might be going on a uh, no sex journey. It's to help heal some type of abandonment wound. Some of y'all getting called to go down your your uh, your absent journey. Yeah. Cause it's like some of y'all might be emotional. Some of y'all catch feelings out sex. Some of y'all might catch feelings fast. <sighs> It's like you say yourself drains like cause you like you want intimacy. It's like on intimacy you could settle for a sex. And this is where spirit breaking away from it, cause it's like you it's like have you emotionally um tied to the wrong individuals. Look at say your your love is strong and pure. Your soul is beautiful. But it's like you can you gotta know who you gotta stand your ground, you gotta balance something out. What else the Tories need to know? Yeah, it's like some good coming towards you. I feel like you're being led to some good, y'all. But it's like spirit moving you away from the enemy. And some of y'all, you might have to uh, take away. You might have to go on that journey by healing yourself, moving sex out your life, focusing on you. I feel like some of y'all might be single for a while. Okay, that's not going to be for everybody. But some of y'all being called to be single, to heal some type of wounds, abandonment wounds. Like, yeah. Like selling, like the only intimacy you selling for is sex. Like it's time for you to like branch off and go deeper. It's time for you to dive deeper into your root chakra, y'all. For some y'all, and your sacred chakra is like healing your root chakra and your sacred chakra. Yeah. It said, "Be the person you uh, be the person you were too lazy to be yesterday." It's time for you to show up for yourself. Yeah, you got some type of tower mama coming in. I feel like you be getting some type of downloads and you can be hearing some type of truth. Or you might some of y'all might be getting some type of dream. Or somebody might be telling you about somebody being gay. Y'all might find out somebody being gay. Okay. So I hope y'all take resonate leave do not. But spirit saying that when you will find true love when you give it to yourself. That's when you will open the door for uh, for true genuine love, okay? So friend, I hope you take resonate and leave do not. And I'm gonna talk to you later.